Today we got a new F-16 Viper mini update from WAGS. Let's go ahead and break it down and talk about it. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Trigger. Today we have a new F-16C Viper mini update from WAGS and it's basically going over everything that they plan on doing right now and into the future. So the first included task is the complete external model level of detail to improve performance. This will be great for multiplayer performance. Next, we are close to completing the high drag and low drag ballistics and calculations for CCIP for the Mark 84 high drag bombs. Next, we have the low altitude drogue delivery, which is being finalized and tested right now. This is basically for your airburst weapons. Next, we have correcting some HOTAS short and long press logic. This is also true for jettison. We have GPS target coordinate shifting. Next is the radar SAM and dual target track modes tracking retention improvement. Now while flying online, I haven't really seen any issues with the radar SAM or dual target track modes, but any improvement is an improvement for me. Next is adjustments to spotlight mode for short press. I've been having some issues with the spotlight mode with the latest open beta. So sometimes if you're bugging a target and you lose track of that target, the FCR becomes stuck in the spotlight mode or that 10 degree azimuth. And you actually have to change the azimuth in order to get it out of the spotlight mode. So hopefully some improvements come with the spotlight mode. I know it just came out with the latest open beta, but next is the adjustments to track while scan designations. Now I don't really use track while scan in the F-16 too much. It's just, uh, it just takes too long and there seems to be some bugs with the track while scan still. So I still love to use that range while search mode and use the SAM dual target track modes with the F-16 FCR. Next is the animated ECS inlets. So following the above priority items include non-cooperative target recognition or NCTR, tuning air-to-air -air performance including look down and search to bug target delay. Next is the digital maneuver queue, DMC, and loft indications. And my favorite feature on this list right now is further work on Link 16 and adding air-to-air -air target assignments. Now we're actually gonna do a demonstration inside of BMS here using the improved data modem and saving the best for last, the alternate gear handle and the animated tail hook. It does say trail hook, but I believe he meant tail hook. So please note that this is not 100% inclusive list, but rather the more important highlights, kind regards, wags. All right, so with that out of the way, this is the Viper mini update. And we're gonna go ahead and switch over to BMS. And just remember now, BMS and DCS are completely different sims. They have nothing to do with each other. And not saying one's correct and one's incorrect, but what we're gonna do today is do a Link 16 and adding air-to-air -air target assignments. Now remember in BMS, there's only IDM or the improved data modem. So some of the symbology and other things might be incorrect because it's BMS and not DCS. So please keep that in mind while we're doing this demonstration. All right, two, we got a four ship inbound. Copy that. Stand by for data. Stand by. So right now I'm bugging the target. There's actually a four ship here and I'm using the expand feature to zoom in here. And TMS up, find a target, and all you have to do is hit the associated OSB. So on the right, there's a one through four, and all I have to do is hit number two because I want to send this to my wingman number two. And then he usually responds, you know, data received, and then we go engage. So what happens here is when we receive data or we send data, it shows up on the FCR as well as the HSD to know exactly what was sent. Now just remember, this is not the Link 16, this is the IDM, but let's go ahead and do a demonstration where I'm receiving some data. Can you just send me one for testing purposes? Yeah. So I'm going to send you the lead group. Lead target sent. Data. One received. Like that. So you can see right here on the FCR, I can see what he sent me as well as on the HSD. And also there was a assign text on the HUD. So hopefully this feature comes out soon to DCS World because I think this would uh, help out immensely, especially in multiplayer scenarios where you're on PvE or in PvP, especially in a tournament as well, because you can assign certain airframes or bug targets to certain people in your flight. So I really appreciate you joining me on this Viper mini update. Thanks to WAGS and the team for putting out these awesome updates for the F-16. Really appreciate everybody watching. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the friendly skies.